When I was a paralegal and tr transitioned into a client service manager role, I found that working with my HR counterparts was um, some of the most fulfilling work uh, and some of the most interesting work to understand all of the pieces that HR really had to consider uh, besides just the immigration strategy that the law firm had been presenting to them. And so I found that the intersection between um, legal backgrounds and human resources was really the key for me at that point in, in my career, wanting to transition into something a bit bigger um, than simply working with, um, with just the individuals that were coming to the U.S. as it was a U.S. immigration law firm. Um, I wanted to sort of expand my knowledge to be more global, to work with different types of people in, in different roles. Um, at, at a company. My mobility story. So prior to entering the mobility space, my HR experience had been in employee benefits. So about 17 years ago, I was actually a referral into Deloitte where I began my mobility career. So while the mobility concepts in general were very new to me, I had previously had experience basically supporting employees through major life events, such as retirement. So for me, mobility was a natural transition and an opportunity to learn something new, but still relate back to that background of supporting employees through major life events. So I think the pivot point for me of being in mobility really started before I even knew what mobility was. So a lot of people kind of fall into mobility, whether it's through working on an HR team or because they have an interest in international work. And for me, I actually got my university degree in human resources and international business. So I kind of wanted to be in mobility before I knew what mobility was. Um, and having the opportunity to work on, on an international project with expats really piqued my interest. And that was kind of the point that I decided this is where I fit, this is where I belong and want to continue working. Um, and that path was not you know, direct. I worked in a number of different spaces, but having the opportunity to actually be an expat on an assignment was kind of that tipping point for me to really um, be in the mobility space. I was on an assignment to Iraq in 2006 and 2007, which was kind of you know, trial by fire, thrown right into the mix of a really intense experience, but it really solidified how important an assignment is for someone's career, as well as the support someone receives when they're on an assignment. So for me, having such great support during that time really solidified the fact that I wanted to be able to provide that to others. So having returned from that assignment um, is when I really got into mobility much deeper. I was able to um, get into positions that enabled me to help assignees and individuals, whether it was for an outbound assignment from the U.S., coming to the U.S., or even something um, just related to their immigration process within the U.S. And having the ability to really support assignees and individuals through these multiple different processes really hooked me into mobility. And I love what I do. I love having the opportunity to work with individuals as well as the organization to really further those mobility goals. So my mobility story is kind of funny because before I graduated from university, I went to see this lady who was um, doing um, readings of coffees. You know, in Turkey, it's a tradition. <laughs> and she, while she was doing the coffee reading, the coffee ground reading for me, um, she, she was explaining my future job and it didn't make any sense but she was saying that I was going to work with um, international um, organizations like different parties who are going to kind of um, assist in different countries. I was going to work with the, closely with the authorities in different countries and with the consulates, with embassies. Like She was explaining all those bits and she, it didn't make any sense to me. And then she was saying in the long term, I, I'm going to move to an island. Actually, I'm not going to, because in the start I was working, I, I was living in Turkey. Um, and she said that, well, in long term, you are not in Turkey, you will move to a big island. And at that time, it didn't make any sense. <laughs> um, 
Well, apart, apart from that, actually, what, what happened is I applied for a very different role in one of the big fours and they invited me for an interview. And during the interview, they started to talk about this role. They, they started to explain the global mobility and what it means and the market and all, all these different um, aspects of global mobility and the team in, 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 in Istanbul office. Um, and funny enough, after I, I, I listened to them, I really, really kind of like um, the job description and I found it very close to what I'm, I was looking for at that time. Like, I love reading, I, I want to work with different people all around the world, I want to learn more and more and I, wanna, I want a job more dynamic. Um, so at that time, after that interview, um, I was very eager to kind of receive the second call and everything and then it, that's where my journey began began actually I I started to work in one of the big four uh, global mobility teams um, on tax tax team in tax team that's how the journey started my mobility story I think starts from when I was a child I traveled with my father I uh, lived in different countries and I started to jo to want to do work within the mobility area, I didn't know what it, that it was called mobility or international assignments, um, but I wanted to work with people who were either arriving in a new country or going into a new country um, because I enjoyed giving that advice and I fell into that in, to, in 1996 when I worked for the Atlanta Olympics. I was given the role of interviewing and recruiting international employees and um, onboarding them when they arrived in the US. And I wanted to do that, so I started to look at um, professions that would allow me to do that. And HR was the most fitting that I knew of at the time. And so I joined an um, organization in HR and hoping to get involved every time there was an international move or international question. And I tend to be the person, to, the go-to person when somebody um, was moving somewhere. Um, and then I joined um, an organization that put me in the tax team and I learned more about other parts of the compliance and in, 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 in relocation and social security and immigration uh, that helped me understand the broader aspect of mobility and I decided this is what I wanted to do and I haven't looked back since. When I started my internship, I, it was my first introduction to global mobility. I had never heard of relocation. You know, I was 20 years old, so I had never heard of relocation. I had never heard of global mobility. Um, you know, my degree was international business. I thought I would be working for a big Fortune 500 company doing something globally. And working in mobility was something new, and it was an internship. It, you know, it, it covered the credits that I needed to graduate, and, once I started working in it and seeing all of the different parts and pieces and components that go into a global mobility program and an international assignment from uh, selecting vendors to counseling, you know, international assignees to coordinating, you know, household goods shipments and temporary housing and home sale, um, you know, and with each destination being completely different, it was just something that that I fell in love with. You know, each move was different, so you're constantly learning, constantly working with with new people, um, cross culturally. You know, working with new locations, and it was truly a career that I could see myself continuing to grow in and continue to continuing to learn and and further my education and knowledge. You know, especially given the fact that these moves, uh, these assignments, no two assignments were the same. During that time then I was offered uh, to lead the COE Global Mobility in order to manage uh, all the topics, the global solution worldwide together with the global team. Now I've been doing global mobility in different roles for more than 12 years and I'm still excited uh, about this specific field in HR. I think the complexity is very high especially in these times when we need to manage the pandemic and different crises and when the political climate of the different countries have an impact on what we do. So there is always something going on in the world. And uh, the good thing is each day is different. I really love that. I love it. Um, tackling new challenges um, and at the same time meeting new people with different cultural background. And I really love working with a 
diverse team, which is the case in global mobility, because I think diversity is the success uh, story um, within global mobility. Thank you. My mobility story is that uh, I've started in the tax administration as tax auditor. I moved then over to Arthur Anderson as an international tax expert, which I continued also in Deloitte, where I have had different roles. I built up mobility ex experience and also running programs within mobility uh, industry. Um, later, uh, I've worked to transition over to work as an in-house professional, building up uh, global mobility programs, setting up policies, setting up framework, setting up operational side together with suppliers. And, and finally, I've moved to a big role where I'm now focusing mostly on global workforce compliance and system and technology solutions um, together with our suppliers. So um, my view of mobility was that we actually create the relocation program and to support the business to move people while ensuring the team members' experience. I must say that uh, that view that I have uh, is pretty um, tactical. I have been in this role for more than five years and in the last five years, I actually observed several transformations happening to the global mobility profession. So recently, we conducted a survey with our leaders and the team members who relocated because we do want to get an overall picture of how mobility actually supports the company objectives to determine if mobility aligns with the talent strategy and also identify areas of opportunities. So indeed, I would say that um, mobility is considered by the leadership as being very critical in filling the talent gap uh, training for the specific positions and projects and also attracting the talent. So I must say that um, what I've observed today is very different. We are definitely having a seat at the table with the talent acquisition, with the business partners and even leaders when they have a specific business need and um, in discussing the deployment of the business plans and talent. I think my mobility story might be similar to many others that kind of stumbled into the profession. Um, it goes way back for me. I um, grew up in the UK and I was an expat international student um, in the US for a year. And shortly after that, did an internship in the US uh, at a law firm. And by the time my internship ended, I was engaged to an American and applied for a green card uh, on a marriage-based uh, petition. Um, my experience was unfortunately a little dismal and uh, my case got lost and I didn't have great legal representation and it took a lot longer than it should have. I missed my wedding, my UK wedding. Um, due to immigration delays and by the time it was all said and done I vowed I did not want to touch immigration ever again until I was in a role at um, my previous company. I was an HR generalist and was asked to take on the global mobility and immigration work for that operating company and while I approached it with a little bit of trepidation given my own experience i knew that i could use it to add value to the uh experiences for our expats i knew firsthand how frustrating and nerve-wracking and exciting it could all be at the same time um and i i knew that i could you know help people in their journeys to um, become become international assignees and expats. <laughs>